What's up everybody, Nitro here, and uh, today we got a little bit of Mortal Kombat Fatality action for you. Now basically what you're going to see is probably three parts of every Fatality, every X-Ray, and every Babality that is in the game. Uh, fatalities are going to be each character, uh, as well as every stage Fatality that there is. Basically, what I'm going to do is go through the characters and uh, talk a little bit about the game. So right now, you're seeing Baraka on the fatality that he just did was up the middle. Uh, his second fatality is called Take a Spin. So basically, these are pretty, pretty gruesome fatalities. But uh, there's definitely some more that are a lot more gruesome. Uh, talking about the game in between trying to actually make sure that you can see what the names of these fatalities are it's gonna be a little bit difficult but we'll uh, we'll try to do it so what can I say about this game it's, it's an awesome game especially considering PSN just went down this game is fantastic and uh, definitely having a lot of fun with it so far sorry I was watching but I forgot that uh, had to go back and do a couple of babalities because I didn't have all the codes for them. But, uh, yeah, this game is definitely fantastic. I'm having so much fun with it right now, especially since PSN went down. Uh, it's been perfect fit. Uh, played through the story mode already. Story mode is fantastic in this game. Oh, my God. Uh, I can't say enough about the story mode. It's it's sensational. But uh, right now you got Cyrax, and his two fatalities are called Buzzkill and Nothing But Net. And I'm sure you will get the point of that once you see them. But uh, getting back into story mode, basically it starts from uh, Mortal Kombat 1. So you start right at the beginning where, where everybody's kind of getting introduced. And it works all the way into Mortal Kombat 3. It It's awesome. Like I, It uh, compared to most Conquest modes that have been in previous... Mortal Kombat's where you've just kind of ventured around trying to find things, you know, random battles here and there. Uh, this one, this one definitely has high focus on battles. It, how can I put this? It's basically cutscene, battle, cutscene, battle. There's no walking around, no in, in their training, I guess you could say. Well, uh, like, uh, okay, so, like, you know, the first scene starts up, you get introduced to Johnny Cage. I'm not going to spoil too much for you guys, because I want you to watch it, but you get introduced to Johnny Cage, and, you know, about two minutes in, boom, you start in the action. But, uh, got to get into this character. This character is Ermac. I'm sure a lot of you probably know that. Uh, and his fatalities are called Mind Over Splatter and Pest Control. They're pretty cool. Uh, Ermac in story mode is, he's a disaster, man. I hate fighting him. He is so ridiculously hard in every battle. But to get back to what I was saying before, so, you know, you have a cinematic for, like, a minute or two, and then, just like that, you are in a battle, and uh, it's pretty sweet. I must say, you know, it keeps you in there. The story is so good that it just, it keeps you enthralled the whole time that you're playing and that to me is a great story mode compared to the way that a lot of campaigns have been in the past or conquests they've all been fun but this one is this took a new spin to the max and it is very very good i must say but uh, i hope you guys are enjoying these babalities by the way some of them are pretty funny but uh, some of them are kind of stupid at the same time. I know Baracus was pretty good and Cyrax was okay, Ermax was okay. But uh, right now, you were seeing Jade and her fatalities are called Hedorang and Half Mast. And I'm sure once you see them, you'll get them. But uh, back into the game. Uh, there is the challenge tower, which is 300 challenges that progressively get harder as you go up. 
and they introduce a lot of a lot of the things that were from past Mortal Kombat's, like test your might, test your strike, test your sight. And then they added a new one that's called test your luck, which is just a it's a roulette basically. A slot machine goes, it picks your opponent, you know, it picks a disadvantage for you. Say it picks an advantage for the computer, you know, and it, your slot machine basically can get bigger as time goes on. So you know, as the as you go up, it, you know, it's the same with like uh, test your might. You'll have you'll start off with a piece of wood and you'll work your way up to bricks and so on. And basically, you need to get your power higher just by tapping the buttons. But uh, <coughs> they're definitely a lot of fun. Challenge Tower is going to take a while. I'm only on like 30 or so. But I haven't been putting too much time into it. Because Story Mode is about 6 hours long. And I've been doing a lot of videos for these fatalities. As you can see there's uh, 20 characters in the game. Plus 9 different stage fatalities. So I'm sure you guys can do the math. 9 times 2. Well 9 times 3. Wait no. 28 times 3. And then nine on top of that. But uh, who you see now is Jax, and his fatalities are called Smash and Grab, as you might be able to see there. And uh, three points, which I guess kind of makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I don't remember. Well, I do remember Jade's BBL, and never mind. It's, it's okay too. She gets hit in the head with her thing. But uh, you know, Jax has a pretty stupid BBLity. Not a huge fan of it, but I do think you'll be amused with Johnny Cage's. I must say, I don't. I honestly don't know what I'm going to talk about for this whole video, but I'm going to damn well try. <laughs> like I can pretty much do an intro of everybody's fatality, but there's a lot of filler time that I have to put in. So basically, I guess I can explain to you guys how I went about doing this. Now, when everything first came out, it was a still a secret on everybody's fatalities and babalities so what I did is uh, I took a book and I wrote what was out there which basically gave me everybody's first two fatalities and maybe half of the people's stage fatalities but uh, gotta get into Johnny Cage and uh, his fatalities are called Heads Up and the winner is and I actually enjoy his second fatality, it's really good, and his babality is actually pretty funny too. But okay, back into uh, what I was talking about. So basically, uh, I took a book, I wrote everybody's two fatalities down, and then uh, half of them had stage fatalities. So I kind of started, I just wanted to do it. I went into two-player mode and picked each character. So it was like Baraka and Baraka. This way I could... Uh, at the start of the first round, let the second player get the first hit. This way they get the bonus on their breaker. And then I would beat on them until their x-ray was full, do the x-ray, and then do the fatality. But of course, not everything works perfectly, which kind of sucked. So through my first queue, I had a lot of problems because a lot of the fatalities that I got from the site that I got them from were incorrect. So I had to go into the fatality trainer that they had and I was doing a lot of the fatalities checking them out making sure I had the right configurations down and uh, I did it that way but we'll get back to this right now you're seeing Cabal and his fatalities are called hook up and it takes guts uh, his fatalities are pretty good I don't remember what his babality is actually off the top of my head right now even though I believe I did do it today so I'm gonna keep an eye out on that to comment on what I think about his babality. Oh, I do remember it. It's, it's kind of stupid too. <laughs> not gonna lie, the babalities for some people were well done, but not all. But uh, his second fatality is pretty cool. Uh, but uh, okay, back into what I was talking about. So uh, yeah, so I had to go through the fatality trainer and punch in a lot of them because uh, if you punch in their second fatality it unlocks it in the game and puts it in your move list for you so I was doing a lot of that and then you know days went by or whatever went back onto the site and it uh, basically filled in the rest of my book again I had to go through it and correct a lot of them because you know 
a fatality could be it was like back down back forward where it'd be it's actually forward down forward back so i had to do a lot of that uh, a lot of the distances were wrong too it would say it's jump but in reality it's sweep and sweep is basically close it's like a step back from close so little things it was a little bit frustrating at times but uh, for the most part i got a lot of it done uh none of the abilities were out for a while so I did have to go back and do a lot of the first peoples and then I just couldn't get some of the people's feet be validities to work so I had to go back and I don't know I ended up getting everybody's to work it was weird but I had to do them in separate videos so I did take a lot of takes to get this video off the ground but uh, nonetheless I miss Kano Kano's fatalities were called heartbreak and eat your heart out I, his fatality is pretty good. Rips the guy's head off and puts it in his stomach. But, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And his, actually, I think his fatality is probably one of the, my favorite. Just because his face is too heavy for him to keep his body up. I think it was, I thought that was awesome. But, uh, <laughs> you know, that one was one of my favorites. I will say that. And, uh, right now you're seeing Katana. Katana is actually really good really good in this game her combos are good uh, you get to use her for a pretty decent chunk in story mode uh, and her fatalities are called fan opener and splitting headache as you'll see her her fatalities are good and uh, her x-ray is actually pretty entertaining as well so is Kano's um, I don't know most most x-rays are just like instant death I don't under, I don't understand how people you know some x-rays are actually more gruesome than the person's fatality which is strange in my strange in my eyes but I am rambling right now it kind of sucks but this is a long video I don't know what to talk about because I haven't done everything there is to do in the game haven't been able to try on online because PSN's been down I haven't been able to you know spend a lot of time on challenge tower yet because I've been doing this for the most part and uh i haven't really i don't know i'm gonna do a playthrough story mode and put it on my channel uh now kung lao is probably one of the easiest characters to use in the game you use him uh, for a very good portion of story mode he's got about four or five battles you have to fight shao Kahn with him and he's got one combo that is just it's, it's just not fair Basically, up downs is teleport, and from his teleport, you can either grab or pound, and then he's got like a two button fatal or two button switch combo. <laughs> but his fatalities are called Hetrick and Razor's Edge. His fatalities are awesome. The second one, especially that you're gonna, or you're currently seeing right now. Um, yeah, he's definitely one of probably one of my favorite characters to use from what you use in story mode. In story mode you just use the characters that are pretty much good guys. But uh, that's okay. I haven't used everybody yet so I can't even comment on everybody. I've just used what's been available to me. Kung Lao was definitely good. Katana was good. Uh, Liu Kang was okay. He's, uh, he's challenging to use. He doesn't really have super good combos. But you'll be seeing him next. That's why I'm commenting on him. But you have to use him to beat Shang Tsung and um, yeah, it definitely didn't go too, too easy. Uh, going back through my list, I never got to use Baraka, really, other than playing around with this. And uh, he didn't seem all that great. Cyrax is good. Ermax, super hard to fight against, but I never really got to use him. Jade's okay once you get to understand her combos a bit now Liu Kang's fatalities jump in here again are called fist of flame and the beast within his fatalities are really good I enjoy them a lot well the second one you'll see it but uh, Jax is very hard to use but he's super strong so his combos do a lot of damage but his combos aren't that good so he's slow and sluggish but very strong Johnny Cage is alright middle middle of the uh, pack sort and uh, Cabal's really good to use too I enjoyed using him never got to well I used Kano a bit in the challenge tower he's okay 
his combos are a little eh. And then I've already been through everybody else. But this is pretty much the end of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for part two when I go through the next 11 characters. I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.